Hey YouTube, uh, today I just wanted to show you my uh, Bama controller here. It's just a, it's actually a modded controller. Not really modded, but it actually it has lights. Like you can see the example right there. It lights up uh, the A, X, B, and Y, and center button, start, back, and right and left bumper. Um, there's also a little white light switch right here. It uh, controls the lights, obviously. Um, then they give you a battery pack cover. Now I don't know about you, but I mean, when you're looking at this, does this look anywhere near the same? No, it doesn't look anywhere near the same color. Anyway, uh, first I just want to show you how to. I'm gonna take mine off, but then I'll show you how to put it on and what you need to do for the LEDs to work. Um, yeah, so here we go. Alright, now you're going to want to remove the case. Just comes off like that. You can see, it's chrome. Now, the only difference, really, between um, this, this case and a normal Xbox controller case, um, it doesn't fit as well. I will say that. I mean, it's a pretty nice case. You're not going to find anyone's better, but it could have fit a little bit nicer. I think the problem with that being um, would be that this light switch up here, right up here, it has its own little board down there. And uh, I think that might be restricting something, and who knows, you know, it's kind of hard to get an exact replica of the first controller. So anyway, um, when you get this, um, obviously, well, you'll have to see these, the right and left triggers are different, are a different color, that's because you get them, and the right bumper and the left bumper, you get these two parts for free, or they come with the controller, the whole case. Okay. Now, um, to put these in, I'll try to do it real quick. It's kind of hard because um, I have the controller facing the other way. Basically, you just pull on these two tabs right here, like this. And see, I just pulled this one down. That's the lever to go to the, to the board. Um, and then there's two tabs right here. It should come undone. Um, and then inside, there's a spring, like this, um, you know, you can, there's a special way that it just sits in like that, but then you put it into the other one. Um, when you're installing these, you're going to want to, actually right now, while well, I'm disassembling them, but when, it, when you're going to do this, um, just take this, and, uh, should come right off like that. See, these two connect to here. Okay, um, and you know, it's the same thing for the other side, so shouldn't have any issues with that. Um, alright, so now, alright, the right and left bumpers, they slip right in, so you shouldn't have any issues with that. Now, alright, I'm going to take the board off, and be careful with your, um, vibration things because like they uh, tend to sometimes the wires will disconnect but anyway all right I'll try to flip this around I, I just want to show you okay when you get this the red wire attaches to this point right here um, there's two points right along here it's on the right one the one most that way okay and then you also get a black and a white wire. Um, the black wire goes on the... There's three points right here. There's three points. The top point is uh, the black wire. The middle point is going to be your white wire. The one closest to the bottom, you don't change or mess with. Um, yeah, so that's the soldering point. So be careful when you're doing that. Try not to touch other parts. Make sure you... Uh, static electricity is gone, you know, touch something metal before you, you know, most people should know this, but touch something metal before you touch your controller. Um, okay. 
right now just make sure also these are the buttons right here they come pre-installed in the case and this little chip in here this board is for the lights so um, that could be a problem why it doesn't fit so well it does fit nice I mean it works out but it's a little little bit difficult okay um, just make sure this piece is incorrectly your lights you actually can't take out so don't try to take them out um, you know it, it comes just like this just do it normally um, so you attach this back on here um, once you have those points soldered just flip it back over like this and actually you might um, have to pull that's the other thing you have to pull on your right and left when you're putting the board back in pull on your right and left uh, bumpers out a little bit so that uh, it can go in see I don't, you don't have to do that normally but with this with this uh, case you apparently have to so and then so once you have that in just try make sure everything's nice and snug um, because it is a little bit different like I said before um, just try your you know make sure your, your uh, pad underneath is fine and then you're gonna want to reconnect your trigger triggers I should say I mean you could have done this before but just switch them out um, okay so we'll put this back on if I can remember how okay and then you're gonna want to get that spring that you had before stay okay all right, now that that's in, um, you're gonna wanna check, make sure everything else is good. So, pull this out, pull these out again, put the board in, and then, oh yeah, you also get a new little piece here. Uh, put your vibrations back. Yeah, that's what I call them. I don't know. I know what the word is. I just can't think of it right now. Okay, so uh, put this back on check make sure everything's nice and snug push your buttons just don't push the triggers um, okay now get go back and get your top of your case make sure the positive and negative for the battery go in correctly okay and uh, make sure your boards push down again hold your board while you're doing this triggers through and it should go together pretty well that was just a screw that just fell out but see there is a gap right there but see it, it kind of locks up but it mostly works pretty well um, everything works you can click everything um, then you're going to want to Put your battery back in and check and see if it works. Wait, my points on here are a little messed up. Okay. You want to check, see if it works. If it works. Okay. And yeah, you do want to check, make sure it works before you put all the screws in because that would kind of suck. And then um, just put all the screws back in. I'm not going to do this right now, but you got the general idea. Um, if you guys want to contact me on Xbox Live, I don't get on as much anymore because I have schoolwork and stuff like that. But um, my gamer tag, I'll post it in the description, but it's XX Blackjack XX. And yes, I do play Call of Duty 4. I will be getting um, Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Don't have the money right now. Uh, just bought an iPod Touch like a month ago. So I could help you guys with that too. But um, anyway, yeah, subscribe to my videos. Tell your friends everything. Um, you need any more help with this controller, just let me know. I'll make another video.